Okay, if you haven't seen episode 5 of Lovecraft Country, if you haven't seen Strange Case yet, in the eternal words of River Song, spoilers! <laughs> Right then, hello, good evening, and welcome. My name is Paul, I'm also called Knickknack. I'm the brains behind Knickknack's daily teasers, which are a fun daily brain teaser quiz. You'll find a whole series of them sitting underneath the eye that's in this corner here. You will also find, hidden behind that little lesser eye, you will also find a hell of a lot of movie reviews and a hell of a lot of informative ones, I hope. And you will also find me talking about TV shows I've seen and enjoyed and tried to review. Just recently, I've been watching HBO show Lovecraft Country and I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Last night was Tuesday the 5th of October 2021. And last night I saw episode 5 of Lovecraft Country, Strange Case, and I wanted to tell you about it. <laughs> Strange Case opens with the by now traditional uh, summary of previous episodes and then shifts, showing us Ruby, Wombi, Wombi Masaki. I still can't get the hang of her name. If you're watching Wombi, I do apologise. I know I've got it wrong. It shows us Ruby waking up in the bed of William to find she's now white. Post titles, the deeply changed, changed Ruby, now being played by Jamie Newman, who looks a little like Stockhard Channing, I felt, just so you know. It sees Ruby briefly escaping to her south side neighbourhood, only to be brought back home by local police. <laughs> police who think her husband's asked them to keep an eye out for her before she suffers a fit. Back at the house, William tells, turns Ruby back into her normal self by peeling off her white skin, and he offers her a deal. The ability to do whatever she wants, as a white woman, whenever she wants, in return for a favour or two. Meanwhile, Montrose, Michael, the late Michael K. Williams, is attacked by Tick. After Tick, Jonathan Majors, finds Montrose has killed Yahima and stolen the pages Titus is grimoires, pages they vitally need to protect themselves. He is forced out of Montrose's apartment block, however, by some of the other residents. People attacking a neighbour doesn't usually go down too well. Once home, Tick finds that Letty, Jenny Smollett, has taken photos of the missing pages of the grimoire and uses these these images to work on deciphering the language of Adam, the language that the grimoire is written in, figuring it could help protect... Blah, 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 blah. take two, bit take two. Tick finds that Letty, Journey Smollett, has taken photos of the missing pages and uses these images to work on deciphering the language of Adam, the language that the grimoire is written in, figuring that it could well help African Americans to stay safe while simultaneously being warned by Letty that this is magic, it's inherently evil, it's inherently corrupt, and Callum will corrupt him. Back at Williams, Ruby decides to stay for longer and use the potion again to get a job at a as an associate manager at, the at a local department store under the name of Hillary, which is when William calls in a favour. He and Christina want Ruby to plant an enchanted stone in Captain Lancaster's office, the chief of police's office, without being found out. It's only after Ruby gets away from Lancaster's office and some of the stuff that's in it that things start getting odd. Ruby finds out that she's not the only one at Christina's house using a potion and that William and Christina are a little closer than she'd thought. Now, first things first. What did I think of this episode? What did I do? What did I know? What left out of me? On the one hand, as a first thing, I, talking of elements that left out of me, I can't help but think that Christina and William 
both look like the sort of Aryan ubermensch that the Nazis would have gone gone potty about, sort of blue-eyed, blonde-haired, physically very healthy, and frankly into all sorts of extremely strange and weird occult stuff. There's whole Wikipedia entries about the Nazis' um, very occult belief systems. Then there's the episode's title, Strange Case. Um, given one of the episode's themes, Ruby turning into Hillary, Christina turning into William, sorry if I've spoiled things there, uh, Montrose going from distinctly hetero father into, frankly, gay lover. I personally wouldn't be surprised if this episode's title is a nod to Stevenson's strange case, ha, see what they did there, of Dr. Hattel and Mr. Hyde. It's a direct nod, I think. As another point, um, Christina asks Ruby to plant what I think of as a rune stone, although I know the terms are usually applied to a like a rune covered rock. I think of it as a rune stone. She, Christina asks Ruby to plant that in Captain Lancaster's desk. And uh, it got me thinking somewhat of the little I'd read of August Deleth's version of Lovecraft's Cthulhu Mythos. Um, along with doing sort of slightly less dark and bleak versions of the stories, he introduced something that gets called the Elder Side. It's kind of a, a pentagram with a little squiggle in the middle that's supposed to defend its holders from assorted Cthulhu monstrosities. Frankly, I think the runestone in Lovecraft Country is the show's equivalent to the older side, although it's like a square, a slightly curved square, rather than an outright pentagram, to give you an example. Um, quite what it's supposed to do, I don't know, but I guess we'll find out within a couple of episodes whether it's a booby trap or something along those lines. Secondly, and lastly, did I enjoy this episode? That is a tougher question to ask, actually. Frankly, at the moment, I'm not convinced right here and now that I did. Don't get me wrong, Strange Case is a very, very good episode indeed. It's a beautifully done character piece. It tells us a hell of a lot more about Montrose. It tells us a hell of a lot more, in particular, about Ruby. It shows us a whole arc about how she feels about seeing how white society can operate when black people aren't looking, to give you an example. It tells us a hell of a lot about how linked Christina and William are. So it's a beautiful, beautifully done, and very gory, actually. A very good character piece. But if push comes to shove, if it came down to you pushing me or shoving me to say, <laughs> Did you like this week's or last week's? I'd have to say I personally preferred episode four. I personally preferred A History of Violence. It was much more of an action piece that I found much more to my taste. Do not get me wrong, though, and do not, whatever you do, do not ignore Strange Case as a standalone episode or as part of the Lovecraft Country's story arc. Strange Case is a very good and very integral part of the ongoing story and is still, despite what I think, a very good episode. Personally, I gave it three stars out of four and I would expect anyone following the series to be watching it and hopefully, please hopefully, leave me a comment under this video. I'll be watching the next episode next next week, which will be on the 12th. Um, and I'll be writing my review on the 13th. Hopefully, I'll see you then. Until then, have a good week.